So we need to talk about customer service and specifically how bad customer service is about to get here in the United States. Now, I have a bunch of stories I wanna to get to today and talk about what's going on and what you guys are facing as well. But the first thing you need to understand is that the reason why customer service is going to go from bad to worse, and I'm not trying to knock any franchises, not trying to knock any industries or anything like that or people, because I understand what they're going through, but the reasons why these uh, we're gonna have issues and customer service is going to get far worse is because of wages, number one, and number two, because of artificial intelligence. Now, I'm gonna go over a few examples of what I've seen recently, and all I'm asking from you is can you put in the comment section below some of the things that you have gone through, some experiences, some stories, and just let me know, has any of the, the stuff that I'm gonna talk about today, has it happened to you? And if it has, let me know exactly how. But other than that, all I ask is one thing, take two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. Okay, so let's dive right into it. What are some of the things that we're seeing as far as customer service? Well, here's one thing I wanna address. Just recently I was reading about a burger joint in California. This burger joint only has three workers. That's it. They have three workers. Two of them are cooks. They're more behind the scenes. The other one is a hostess. She's at the front of the establishment. Now, here's what I think is interesting. The hostess is only there for one main reason, to sit you down at the booth and tell you how you can use their app to order the food, to buy a drink, to pay for your meal, and if you need it, to get additional help. That's all she's there for. She doesn't actually bring out the food. I guess what it does is when you you know, download the app, you can order everything you want. You can, oh, I, I want a burger, I want you know, add bacon, add you know, extra cheese, you know, minus tomato, minus onion, whatever, right? You can do all that. But here's the thing where, and this is where I think customer service is going to be, well, it's going away. There's not a server to bring you your food and put it on your table. There's not somebody there that does that. You know how you get your food to the table? Well, your phone, it vibrates or it rings and tells you your food is ready, come pick it up at the front. And you walk up, you pick it up, and you sit down. That's how it's gonna work. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. Uh, I was reading another story just recently about, um, uh, what was it Taco Bell, I believe, where Taco Bell is gonna have, uh, is gonna eliminate uh, indoor dining, eliminate it. It's gonna be no more. So they're starting with like 300 or 400 locations where they are going to shut the doors. You cannot come in and order. You can't come in and eat. You have to go through the drive through That's the only way you can get their food. But here's another one. And I thought this was interesting because I started to think about this. Well, what if you have an issue with your order? Well, listen, <coughs> listen to this. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine and he was saying that he recently went to a McDonald's. At that McDonald's, he ordered a, a large meal for uh, you know him and his, himself and his family and there, there was a bunch of stuff missing. A bunch of stuff was wrong. Well, what I thought was interesting though is how, how do you go and you know, fix that order if the restaurant's closed? Well, in this case, McDonald's isn't closed. There's indoor dining. He decided to go back to the restaurant there was a big line, it was right about dinner time, big line in the drive-thru. He decided, you know what, I'm not gonna wait. I'm just gonna go inside, let them know they, they messed up my order, and I'll get the items that I need. Well, he goes in. Guess what happens? There's nobody inside. All they have are four kiosks. That's it. Well, how do you fix an order? Because you can't place an order, because then you gotta pay for it, for the items to come out. So, how do you fix an order if there's only a kiosk? That's exactly the problem that, that he faced. So he stood there, waited, nobody was coming. There was nobody you know, even looking from behind the, you know, the little counter to see if, is there somebody at the, at the front? There's nobody. And so he kept on yelling and talking and trying to get somebody to come out, nobody did. His only option was, 
he could either get back in the drive-thru and go around, or what he decided to do, he was going to order one thing. He ordered the cheapest thing they could, he could find on the menu. He paid for it. Then when they brought it out to him, because again, he was the only one in there, when they brought it out, then he said, hey, by the way, I have this other order. I'm missing a bunch of items. Well, guess what? They were sitting in the back in a bag. So all that he had to go through. Again, great customer service there. Here's another one. I personally was recently at Home Depot. And at this Home Depot, they have one person at a register. And that person is over on the, the far end of the store. And they're more for the, uh, uh, the pro customers. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Every other you know, location to, to purchase was all self-checkout. Okay. That's all it was. Now, that's fine. I, I'm perfectly okay with that at Home Depot. If I need to purchase more items or I need a, a large order, I'll go to the person at the pro counter. Otherwise, I'm just going to you know do the stuff right there at self-checkout. It's quick, easy, and I'm fine with it. Here's what I'm not fine with. I was recently back in the, uh, I had to do some um, you know irrigation work uh, at my house. And here's the, the problem that I had. I'm not a irrigation expert. I've done, you know, sprinkler systems and stuff like that, but I was having a very specific issue and, uh, I was trying to buy like a solenoid or something. Um, I'm not getting a lot of details, but buy a specific item to replace and fix for my sprinkler system. Well, the one that they had wasn't fitting. And I'm trying to talk to this guy that's standing right there. Looked like he was the expert in that section told him the problem. He said, you know what? Uh, I've never had to deal with this before. Uh, we actually just started about four months ago. I'm not sure exactly what to do. Let, let me go get some help. Perfect. That's fine. So I wait about four or five minutes. Somebody else comes over uh, and little older, older gentleman comes over and I tell him the same situation. This is what's going on. This is what I need. You know, what should I do? And he says, you know, I, I've never had um, in-ground sprinklers before, uh, you know, but here's what I'd recommend. He walks me uh, outside and, and at Home Depot, walks me outside and uh, gives me a hose. He asks if I have a, a little you know, connector on the outside of my home. And I said, yes, I do. He gives me a, a hose, a little 10-foot uh, hose, 20-foot hose, something like that, and a sprinkler. He goes, this is what I'd use. I'd recommend it. It just, you never have issues with it. I said, you want me to go outside, turn it on, and shut it off every single time? It's not going to do it. Went back. Nobody could help me. The, the, the moral to the story, the point of this, back when, and, and this was years ago, um, there were companies like Ernst, companies like Eagle Hardware, okay? And you may not remember those, but those were hardware stores. You could go to, and at those hardware stores, there were people that were, you know, veterans, older, older gentlemen and, and women as well, that knew what they were talking about. Now, if you go into some of these stores, they have no clue. I went to a, uh, a store uh, down in Las Vegas uh, a few months back, and it was a you know, clothing store. This person had, had no style. I don't have a lot of style either. I like comfort over style, but again, that's just me. But this person had absolutely no style. It wasn't even, the colors didn't co coordinate at all. And this person was trying to help me pick some stuff out. Again, not knowing my style, but trying to give me ideas. This is kind of what we're getting to. The stores are just hiring whoever to fill a spot. But do they have the expertise to work in that store? In many cases, no, they don't. Here's another one. Talk about Target for a second. Because this is what we're facing. Target now has less employees than ever before. They have more, more stores. They have less employees because they're going more towards self-checkout. They're going more towards, there'll be one or two people back in electronics and those one or two people will be like the, the, the ones that are experts on everything, on the electronics, the toys, the you know camping equipment, the you know lighting, right? All that stuff, on cell phones. That's not the case. 
okay? This is why some people hate going into stores. This is one of the reasons why I personally will pick up my phone and I will purchase everything off of Amazon. You know why? Because if I ever have an issue, I just send it right back. I don't have to go into the store. If I don't, and this is an issue I have with Target, or specifically with Walmart, uh, more so than Target, I go into a Walmart store, which I don't go into very often at all, probably twice a year. But if I have to go in and return something, the issue is there's nobody there. There's, they're probably manning a counter. They're manning the, the self-checkout. They're watching that. They're not up there at the, at the return center. And so I have to wait for somebody to come back. Huge issue. Here's another one. Costco. And I love Costco. I love going to Costco. I love buying stuff online and doing all that stuff. But here's the issue I had. Went to Costco, um, you know, a few months back and actually two months ago. And I wanted to pick up a piece of furniture that I saw in Costco, thought that would be perfect, except they didn't know what it fit. So here's what the person told me. They don't know exactly how big it is. It doesn't say on the box. Um, they don't have it on display. It was just in the box in a corner. I said, okay. Looked it up on Costco's website, didn't have it. So I asked him, well, so, we, we don't know how big it is. You can have no clue. He said he has no idea. Okay, that's fine. You know, there's not a lot of experts at Costco. They're just very good at what they do, you know, help you out if they can. Great. So here's what he told me, and this was absolutely no help. Take it home, put it together, which would probably take me a couple hours, put it together, and then see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, just take it apart and bring it back. I said, okay, so you want me to put this in my truck, okay? which is gonna take me an extra 20 minutes to get in the truck and strap it down to all that stuff, big old box. And you want me to take it home, put it together, which probably take me a couple hours, an hour to two hours. And then if it doesn't fit, take it all apart, put it back in the box and bring it back to the store. I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. What I would do is, because I've done it before, where I purchase furniture from Costco.com. And if you wanna return it for whatever reason, you don't have to take it apart. You just bring it back to the store, right? Well, this is the nice thing about Costco.com is if you purchase something, you don't like it, it doesn't fit, you just want your money back for whatever reason, they will actually come and pick it up if they delivered it to you. That's why for me personally, I would rather deal with Costco.com than actually go to Costco for something like that. Again, I may be sounding spoiled here, but this is why customer service is about to get go from bad to worse is because people are very similar to the way I just described myself, right? We want convenience. That's what we want. We don't want all this, this uh, headache and you know issues. And I bring this up because, because of artificial intelligence, because of you know, higher wages, because of companies trying to at least make a profit, we are about to see less customer service representatives, which means there's gonna be more issues, which also means it's gonna be more issues for you. So that's where we're at at this time. The one thing I do ask is if you have a story similar to what I just talked about or something even different, but it kind of highlights where we are going regarding customer service, please add your comment to the comment section below. I would absolutely love to read it. But that is what I have for you guys today. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one.